Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video I'm going to do an uh, unboxing of uh, the new Ghost album uh, right here right now. Uh, this is the soundtrack to the movie that was recently released and uh, this is the red vinyl version. It has this really cool cover with Papa Neil uh, buried beneath the crucifix in the graveyard. Looks real cool. There's, there's a rat there. Um, yeah, I've been looking forward to this release a long time now. I'm sure many other people in the ghost community has also been looking forward to this. And here's the back cover. Really cool with Papa performing live. So I'm not just going to do an unboxing of this. I'm also going to do a comparison with the first and only uh, live album up till now, uh, Ceremony and Devotion. And uh, so I'm going to do a comparison of the actual uh, track list and the release to the look of it and everything, what's included and all that. So I haven't listened to this yet. Um, because I'm filming this on release day and I just got this uh, like half an hour ago so I have not listened to this digitally either so uh, I'm not going to compare the actual music but uh, I have heard it of course when I saw the movie but uh, later maybe I will write it down in the description or something uh, with a review of the sound quality and all that so yeah I'm gonna start opening it now let's see it's not a gatefold that's curious because it's supposed to be a double album so and it's really thick this uh, cover here so I'm curious to see I've just seen a picture uh, a quick one just a glance of uh, how it looked inside so I have a basic idea of what to expect, but I don't know completely. So let's open that. I always take the shrink wrap off. I don't keep shrink on, but I keep the stickers, of course. So I'm gonna take this off. that so here it is without the shrink looks real nice really like this cover I don't know if I prefer it to ceremony and devotion they are both cool covers uh, let's see here let's start with the booklet that's included so you have a red Crucifix. It's quite different to the Impera Crucifix. Um, so that's nice to see a new design. Here you see the skeleton dancers lifting a pop in the air. Um, during, uh, I think it was 20s, right? And that's really cool. <laughs> I like that you see a fuck you sign inside. Papa's uh, sparkly jacket there too. Uh, some really nice pictures of the ghouls. So this booklet I have not seen before. I've not seen any of these pictures. I'm guessing it's from the exact same concert that is featured in the movie and that's on the soundtrack. Well, of course it is because it has the skeleton dancers there so and uh, I mean the exact same show that's because they play two shows two nights so maybe these are photos from both nights I don't know but yeah really nice pictures this is a big upgrade from the Ceremony and Devotion pictures. They were like this small. 
here you have full size 12 inch pictures really nice black and white photo wasn't expecting that really cool with all the smoke and here's the back Papa Emeritus and name of schools all the songs all the credits really nice nice addition to, to this release nice to see let's see here what do we have here oh a surprise let's see if there's anything else in here no so I'm gonna put the booklet back in there you go what's this a little like it's not a postcard because it's quite a bit bigger just a frameable card very nice looks really cool with the skeleton dancers there and papa really cool i probably framed that that's that's really nice actually nice addition to this release i'm guessing a poster here now this one will probably be quite big so i don't think i will fit it in the frame but let's try anyways yeah it's the movie poster it's really big um, it's really hard to capture this but you all know if you're a ghost fan you know what this looks like you've seen this before right here right now really really nice i will put that up definitely that's a really nice poster uh, so let's put fold this one up like so and here we have the records nice to see that they are polylined sleeves so hopefully there won't be any damage so yeah that's a really nice looking record there Imperium, Caesarion, Rats, Faith, Spillways. That's a really, really nice color. Series, uh, Absolution, Come a Little Sunshine, Watcher in the Sky. Watcher in the Sky is one of my favorite ghost tracks. Yeah, I, I, I saw the other versions. They were like a uh, yellow vinyl version. There was also like a uh, sand colored uh, vinyl um, and also a like blue uh, vinyl also but I thought that the red vinyl was more fitting um, to the aesthetic so uh, if you have ghost chamber version 20s miasma Mariana cross but if you have ghost on on the in the movie and on the soundtrack is just amazing. Respite on Spittle Fields, Kiss the Go Goat, Dance Macabre, Square Hammer, The Future is a Foreign Land. I really like the new song, actually, The Future is a Foreign Land. Um, it's probably the most poppy uh, ghost track uh, of all time. Even more poppy than like Dance Macabre. Uh, but I, but I really like it. Uh, I like Heavy Ghost and for the next album I'm hoping for a heavier and darker sound. But I also like the Poppy Ghost. I think it really fits. And it's nice to see that Papa Nil uh, got another uh, song of his released. Uh, he hasn't missed the mark yet so that's fantastic so uh, yeah that's this one really impressed to be honest it looks really nice um, so now I'm gonna do a comparison to the release of ceremony and devotion 
this is of course the only uh, Ghost Live album up till now and it was a really good one. It was released in 2017 and the rec album, the vinyl, was released in 2018. Uh, it's really, really good. I love uh, this album. Um, I just listened to it yesterday to pre prepare for this and I'm going to listen to this one today. Yeah, I really like it. Um, so now I'm going to do a comparison of the releases and the track listing and my overall thoughts of both these releases and see if right here right now beats Ceremony and Devotion or not. So let's start with the track listing. Comparing that, of course, there's been new albums released in Ceremony and Devotion. So maybe this is an unfair comparison, but yeah. So um, let's start off with this one. It has Square Hammer, of course, it's essential. From the Pinnacle to the Pit, obviously the, this was the Pope Star Tour and they wanted to promote their uh, latest album, uh, Meliora. Uh, the only song they played off pop stars, obviously, Square Hammer. So most attention got uh, went to the Meliora album. And the Front Pinnacle to the Pit, it's a good song, but I don't feel it's like essential ghost. So it's nice, but I I get why they didn't include it on the on the new uh, uh, album. Conclave Con Dio, it's essential. It's amazing, love that one. And then Pera Spera Ad Inferi, also a really good song. One of my favorites of Infestissimum, probably that and uh, uh, Zombie Queen, uh, Goulet. Um, then Elizabeth, of course, uh, Body and Blood, Devil's Church, Cerise. Then Gula Zombie Queen, Amazing Year Zero, Spoke Sonat, He Is, my favorite ghost uh, track of all time, Mummy Dust, and this version is so good. He's almost like growling on this one, it's really cool. Secular Haze, yeah, I like Secular Haze, it's maybe one of the weaker tracks of, of uh, Infestismum. It's probably that and uh, like Idolatry and Death of Satan's Eyes that are pretty weak tracks. I feel like still like it. There is no ghost uh, song I don't like. So Absolution, Amazing, Ritual, Monstrous Clock is just a great uh, ending to, to the concert. I heard that um, the girls from uh, I'm Sorry What podcast, the... the Ghost unofficial uh, podcast um, that I was on recently, and um, they talked about the new version of Absolution because that was the only track that was released beforehand, and they said that it sounded like uh, Tobias went into the studio and re-recorded uh, his voice, and it didn't sound like the version of Ceremony and Devotion. I have not listened to this obviously uh, yet, but I heard it in, in the movie and they also said that it sounded different from the movie versions. So that piqued my curiosity. So maybe I thought that the tracks on the actual soundtrack is from the, the second night or whatever. They play two nights uh, at Forum. So maybe this is uh, the other night that they recorded and put on this album but that wouldn't make sense because it's a soundtrack it's uh, supposed to be exactly as it was in the movie so maybe maybe they uh, forgot how it sounded in the movie or something i don't know but um, i'm going to compare this to to how it sounds in the movie see if it's identical i'm guessing it is but uh, yeah that, that, that wouldn't be nice if Tobias actually went into the studio and re-recorded everything. I wouldn't like that. So, But what, for, from what I heard, uh, the version of Absolution sounded amazing. I had no problems with it. So, uh, yeah, 
So the actual track listings, I think it's actually superior on the new one. I love uh, obviously Prickyell and I love uh, uh, Impera. Those are like two of my favorite albums. It's really nice to have Imperium and Kaiserion. Like Kaiserion is just an amazing opener. Uh, Rats, I love Faith is one of my favorite tracks. Spillways, Cerise is nice to have back, Absolution, Come a Little Sunshine, Watcher in the Sky are also two of my favorites. If you have Ghost, they're like chamber version they call it, but uh, uh, like acoustic or uh, like orchestral uh, version with uh, the ghoulets with the veils and everything, that was really cool. 20s with the skeletons were, were also really nice, really cool. Miasma is one of my favorite ghost tracks of all time. Really love that instrumental. Um, really cool with the saxophone and, and the keyboards. I love the keyboards in that one and the drums too. The drums are so bombastic. So Mariana Cross is essential. Uh, Mariana Cross wasn't released even when it released this album. It was two years later that they released Mariana Cross. So that's nice to see on there. Despite on the Spittle Fields, just that ending with the guitar solo at the end is just so epic. Uh, Kiss the Go Go, it's a really nice track. Dance Macabre, not one of my favorites, but I like it. Square Hammer, obviously amazing. Future is Foreign Land. So, yeah, I think the track listing um, and the songs and the actual content, the music is superior on this from what i heard in the movie i haven't listened to the actual soundtrack but but the movie should uh, this should represent what i heard in the movie and i prefer this uh, so yeah the actual music better on the new one i feel like so now i'm gonna compare the actual vinyl release of these two so you've just seen this one so now i'm gonna show you Ceremony and Devotion, if you have not had a look at it in quite a while or you don't have it in your collection. Uh, yeah, you've seen the back quite a lot uh, now. Really nice pictures, but they are so small. They're just so small. And this like graphic takes up so much space. If you have these small pictures. And they are also featuring the booklet, so they're duplicating the, the, the imagery also, so not really big of a fan of that. The gatefold is, is just unbeatable. A little disappointed that the Right Here Right Now soundtrack was in the gatefold. Uh, maybe they did it this way, because they did it quite thick here so they could fit in the poster and the card and the booklet and everything maybe it would be too tight if they just had these small pockets here but i would have preferred a gatefold cover and this one is just so cool with the flames during year zero with terso standing in the back and observing just so cool and also The Ceremony and Devotion featured printed in their sleeves with the track listing and the lyrics. And also a little picture of Papa Free there. Just really nice presentation. Maybe they could have put more, uh, could have made the font smaller, put all lyrics here. Maybe have a bunch of photos here or a big photo here rather than these small ones. But yeah, it's still better than right here, right now, with just the polylined inner sleeves. So that aspect is better here. Um, the white vinyl obviously is subjective if you prefer. And there, there's also many different versions of uh, both these releases. So um, I like the labels on these. These are really cool. So... The color of the vinyl doesn't play in here because it's so subjective of what you like. Uh, I prefer the red ones on new. Uh, right here, right now, I really like the white ones too. It's really cool. And also in this one, this one also featured a booklet 
with some pictures in it. Uh, I won't show you the the other. I will just show you the inner sleeve. This same thing, Papa Free there. But the record looks identical, so I won't show you that. But the the booklet is really nice in this one too. So that is cool. Picture there, track listing in the back. This is really nice. That's one of my favorite pictures of Terso there. Really, really cool. And there's a write up here from I guessing to be to be us because it's a good writer talking about uh, his experience. Uh, two years on the road during the Melior and Popstar tour and thanking everybody, the crew and all that. It's really nice. Uh, that's not featured in in the new soundtrack. You have some really nice pictures, but they are too small. I feel like they're way too small. Um, they feature all the dates that they played. That's really nice to see. Uh, so it's documented what they played. That's really good. But they could have just made a booklet thicker, more pages, and they could have featured all these photos, bigger size, and put collage of photos like this. That that would be really nice. But they they did it this way. So, but it's nice. It's nice. Uh, really good, nice pictures. Here you have, that's a really good one there. Also a cool one. This is one of the pictures from the back cover. So they replicate some of the pictures. That's a really nice wide shot of the band live during the Meliora and Papa Free era. There you go. Really nice. One of my favorite pictures of, of a ghoul there. Just looks so badass with him, uh, with the smoke behind him. So, yeah. And you see here, this takes up, this graphic here takes up so much space. They could have just made big pictures like this and just put it here. But yeah, but it's nice either way. Very nice, cool. So yeah. So the booklet I think is superior in the right here right now, and this one is really nice too. But the, the new booklet is an improvement. There are big pictures. There isn't really a write up in there. That's kind of disappointing. But but overall, I prefer the new one. It looks just so. So good uh, with these big, big, big pictures as you, as you see before. Just this presentation, I think, is superior in every way. Really nice quality, everything really good. So, so yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, also, like the artwork. Also very subjective. I have always liked when you see uh, Papa uh, one, Papa two, Primo Secondo Terzo, and uh, just looks really cool with the crowd down there and the stage, and just looks so epic. This one's really cool. They are very different in their presentation. This one looks a little more spooky. Doesn't really capture a live feel. Like this one, this could have just been a, a regular like album cover for a studio album. While this one feels really like a live album, so in that case, this one I prefer. But I just think this image is just so striking. It's really cool with Neil with his saxophone and everything in the grave. It's both funny and a little spooky you know and and the back cover is just nice to see a live photo so 
yeah, it's subjective, but overall, I think I prefer the new one, even though that captures the life feel, that one is just so cool. So, so yeah, that, that, that's basically it. That was uh, my unboxing uh, of the right here right now and my comparison to the, to the original live album that they released. So thank you for watching and uh, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.